hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel excel vba expert in today's video we are going to solve a one of a interview question which was asked in you know which was asked by somebody right in an interview so the question is basically how we can call the store procedure you know from sql in excel using vba that is the question here so this is something you know we will be solving in today's video but before starting the video i would like to say that if you guys are not aware of from sql queries and from store procedures or might be this video won't be relevant you know for you but still i would recommend guys you watch till the end and you know you try to understand okay what actually it what actually you know we are doing so might you would get little bit understanding about it okay so let's solve it so here i have already opened my sql server guys so this is the data i have i have you know activated this database which is the sql server class so in this database i have one data by the name of data okay select star from data table so data is the table in this database i do have you guys can see i want to create a one store procedure okay how we can create the procedure so you guys see so basically basically we just need to write like this create procedure and give the procedure name whatever you want to give okay for example procedure one that is the you know procedure name okay i am giving procedure underscore one okay as begin whatever you guys want to you know execute the command for example i want to select the data select this data star from okay from uh, data table wherever we have agent name from okay whose you know the name is starting from a like a percent and this and close the end this is a small query guys you need to write you guys need to write to you know create the store procedure so if i will press f5 so i will be able to see okay i will be able to see the success message here it means that we are successfully able to create the store procedure and we have finally created it all right so the question is now that how we can execute it so how we can execute it that's the big question here so you just need to copy you should be aware you should know the procedure name whatever procedure you want to call for example i want to call this procedure if i would select this query okay okay you guys can see if i will select this query so it will give me the same it will give me the same result but instead of writing you know again and again this big query okay i can only write this particular word and that will help me that will help me help me to you know to get the data which i am getting from this you know this massive query so store and procedure basically we are storing the procedure of of the activity for example that we are you know trying to extracting the data of those of those agent okay whose name is starting from a so here we have written very big you know query not a very much big but yes the big query we had written so what we have done we have stored this line in this particular word so again and again we don't need to write this query we can directly execute like this execute and store a procedure name that's it if i will execute like this so i will be getting the same result so how i will be able to you know call this procedure okay in excel so now let's understand i just want to execute it and i want this data to be in to be printed in the excel so i am just taking you to the excel sheet so here you guys can see now if i will click on this execute button you guys can see i will be able to see that i am getting the data for all the agents right but the condition is different okay this is something which where i have you know created the different procedure basically i selected all the data but the procedure we have created earlier right the recently so in that we need to have only agents whose names is starting from here so here if you guys observe so agent is you know here i am getting the data for all the agents right so i am deleting all the data here and going to the vba editor alt f11 okay here you should know uh, you should know that whenever you you guys are going to you know integrate your sql server with the excel you should need to you know enable the one external library which will be the microsoft activex 6.10 library so you need to go in the tools go in reference references so here i already have enabled it you guys can see microsoft activex data object 6.1 library that is what actually you need to enable if you guys know if you if you will not enable so might you won't be able to you know integrate your excel with the sql so i have created and i have already enabled so i also created the procedure and enabled the you know necessary library now 
I am going to write my code. Option explicit. Okay. Option explicit. Sub procedure name call store procedure. I will attach this file, guys. You guys can download it. Okay. So I am you know declaring some variable. CNN as new ATO DB connection. Okay. RST as a new record set. Okay. DIM STR as you know variant where I will be storing this string. Okay, and after that QRY query where I will be, you know, executing my store procedure, right? So it will be also variant K as an integer. Okay, that's it. So you just need to already you have, you know, added here new. So you don't need to set it again and again. You directly can start to write your string. You need to, this is the very important line to integrate the SQL server for any work. Okay, so provider, okay, SQL server 1.0. And after that integrated security integrated security SSPI okay data source okay data source so here you need to give the server name which you guys can get from here by right clicking and connect this is the server name you need to copy it and go back to your VBA editor here and paste it and after that initial catalog in this you need to give the database name okay which is the SQL SQL server class okay that's it you have created this string you need to open it cnn dot open str and after that you also need to write how you guys can call how you are running here you guys can if you will see how you are running how you are executing a procedure by this name okay by two words only so the same two words I'm just copying it from here and I'm storing in the q or y like this okay and after that you need to run it how rst dot open qry and cn that's it and after that as soon as you have done it okay you need to also now the we have executed the query now the things we are going to print the data in the excel you know from from where from g10 okay from g10 so in g10 in g column i mean in row number 10 i want the header and after that i want after that I want the data so you need to write here for k equal to 0 to rst field count minus 1 next k after that here you need to write like this range g10 dot offset 0 comma k dot value rst dot field k dot name that's it and after that in g11 you directly need to print the data by writing this one okay and cnn dot close close the database and after that a message box simply done you need to execute this you need to assign this button okay in this you need to assign this code in this button so right click on this go in assign macro and here you guys can see call store procedure you need to click it okay now if you will click on this button you guys can see okay data is coming we are getting here what we are getting provider cannot be found it may not be properly installed so what can be the error error can be here of the spelling so let's understand so provider sql server 1.0 integrated security all right sspi data source okay initial catalog sql server class so let's see if we have written this name proper or not okay so let's see sql server class i'm going on the top okay copy it and paste it okay initial catalog okay we have given the space here data source all right the spelling is correct security and integrated all right sql server all good to go now let's again execute by one by one f5 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 provider cannot be found it means something is wrong here okay something is wrong here we need to understand we need to identify the error okay provider sql server class okay sql server not sql oledb okay what sql oledb that is the actual one you need to now it will run successfully okay so this is how you guys need to identify the error you need to rectify at the same moment okay so execute click on this execute now you see i am getting all the data of the agent okay whose name is starting from a you guys can see okay you are able to see guys so i am getting here how many records seven two five so this is how you guys can you know in just few lines of a code 
you will be able to call the store procedure from the SQL server and you are able to print the data as well okay so i hope guys you have liked this video and i would attach this file in the description box from there you guys go and download it and do the practice okay so thank you so much everyone for watching the video thanks a lot